Um, do, 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 you know what it is. Welcome to the BLK Hour. I'm your host, Victor and Hiko. Uh, I'm going to run the first half. Can I run the first half? Yeah, go for it. Let me go. Let me just let me do it because I got a lot of shit to say, man. Okay, last, last time I was supposed to be on, okay, mm -hmm. and I don't know who messed that up. And I'm going to point the victor at, yeah, that's you, he yeah, go, right? Victor, victor. It keeps passing the buck, right? I think it's um, Anyways, regardless, I think you guys have a good concept here, but you need to get your shit together, okay? No, that's just, you know, no, that will ruin everything if we got our shit together. You imagine that would be like a totally different show. It would be, yeah, it would be like actually like a show, right? <laughs> this but, is for you. This is for you. <laughs> victor, you're starting early, man. Wait for me. I'm going to, I'll, I'll be all joining you. I'll call you. It's unanimous. I'll wait um, for you. But I would like to say, though, like, somebody already written in the comments that Cooney, you should get Cooney on here. Stuff like that, yeah? I mean, get, get some people no, that, uh, you know, can present it up a bit. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, no, we're, we're onto that, and, and you're right, you are right, you know, but we're also, you know... I'd love to have Cooney on here, yeah. I'd, like, I'd love to get Cooney on. You think he'd do it? I don't know. He, I, I, I want to talk with him. He's, he's, he's been lying a little bit lately, but I actually caught up with him the other week, and, uh, yeah, he's good, so I'd, I'd like to get him in. I think, He'll do I think it. he'd get up for it. Which I've actually never really talked to either of you guys in uh, a YouTube setting, like actually at like one of the meetups or anything like that. That's true. Always been super busy. Uh, I did talk to Victor one time. Uh, I think we were both a little smashed. I, yeah. I, I'll give you the benefit that you were more than I was, though. Um, oh, um, yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll put money on that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, but as far as YouTube goes, uh, you both are guys that I really esteem as uh, my senpai. And I'd like to acknowledge that before I get into uh, ragging on you too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked already. I'm like, why are you being nice to us? Yeah, this is, uh, he's talking us up. First off, drinking and vlogging. Okay, I got a list. I got a fucking list, man. Oh, All right, good. Can I swear? Am I, I swear. Cool? Of course. Say whatever I, I want. I, I, yes, go for it. Anything you want. I Bitch, cut, chuck, sure, motherfucker. Right? Sorry. Yeah, I'm I, I think you should no swear problem. as much as possible on his channel. Okay. Um, calling out Sam that one time, Victor. Yes. Um, and you had like another guy do it, the uh, uh, samurai. Mexican uh, samurai, one hundred. Yes. Who? Okay, I do actually like. I think he's a real kind of truthful guy. Um, mm -hmm. Much yeah. needed here. But the working out and videoing yourself and being like, oh hey, I was just working out. Uh, anyways, uh, that's you know maybe I should talk to him it's, about that. It's a visual. Yeah. It's a visual medium. You know. So I didn't think that was too cool, though, because if you got a problem with yeah. Sammy, you come talk to Sammy, um, you know, and uh, having somebody else, you know, I think he, Sam even said that you're kind of like uh, Riley a little bit, like Bill O'Reilly, yeah? Bill O'Reilly? I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. I, I think you would take that as a compliment, though. That's the thing, right? Um, and it is kind of a compliment, because the guy's controversial, and he, but, you know, I mean, does he know he's a prick? <laughs> <laughs> do I know? Do I know? Oh, so you did just know? I saw what you just did. Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly. I didn't say you, Victor. All right. All right. Um, so, also, I like this Mark guy. I think he's pretty cool. Who? Mark. Which one? He go. He go. Let it go. Let it go, brother. Let I'm it. gonna beat the samurai, man. I, 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 I'm feeling like inadequate now. I'm sorry. Okay. Which listen. Mark? Which Mark? Do like 10 reps and then come back and then let's see how like pumped up. Mark, you know, the guy that likes to do cosplay. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. I like him a lot. Yeah. Can I ask you? Like, He's very negative, though. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I mean, I, 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 okay, that's all right. I mean, he He's seems to be doing what negative. he No, he's very honest. Yeah. He's very honest. He, he he's seems honest. to be doing what he wants, right? So yeah. that's, that's yeah. pretty cool. Um, can I ask you, though? Like, I mean, I mean, like, not that it really matters, but it kind of does. Uh, okay. Because, I mean, is he homosexual? Nope. Okay, so he just like that, like see that just blows my fucking. Oh, yeah. Kiko just got cool too. Um, yeah, it blows my mind because like I mean he's dressing up like a girl, and like I mean again I'm totally like you know all colors you know everything right, but um yeah that yeah. makes it even more interesting. He's very artistic. He has a very good eye, very good visual eye. Um, and you, you were saying about your wife how she doesn't watch you and. Yes. Not, um, e not even when the video's off. Even right now. <laughs> right. She knows I'm up here with Hiko, but she doesn't know anything else. 
Well, tell her I'm here. She might come check me out. Okay. Uh, I think she knows you're here. She's watching. Yeah, I caught this guy just coming out of the channel when we did our uh, coming out of the shower when we did our sound test. So it was too much. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, I didn't show. I didn't show. Well, so, I, I don't. I don't mind that my wife doesn't uh, watch me. That wasn't. I think I. I kind of um, misrepresented that. I. I am. I'm disappointed that no one cares about this part of my life at all in my family at all, except for my dad. He watched a little bit. Like, I'll, I'll say, hey, look, honey, I, I'm doing this. You know, I did this video with Mag or whatever. I, I talked about the decision. She doesn't care. Okay, this is a little early to get into it, but why did you get into it? Why did you start, like, doing it? Because you always are, like, I think you always want people to appreciate you and, like, you know, hit the like button and, like, it's a lot of effort for me to do these videos. Well, then why the fuck do you do it? You know? So that's part of, that's part of the promotion, though. And, and I'm torn with that. I, I'll admit I'm torn. Like, half the time I don't even want to say that shit, you know? Okay. But at the okay. same time, you know, I'm putting so much effort, you know? Um, Hiko. Yes. Um, I think you're a really great, great guy, um, Ray Charles. Um, uh -oh. The only thing is, is like you're just too nice. No, no, I'm an asshole. No, he's not. I, he's I, an I, asshole. I, I believe. Yeah, Vic knows. Vic <laughs> tell knows. me, tell me something about me, okay? Give me some kind of like something semi-negative that you have a thought about me. I well, yeah, I mean. Uh, what I like he's about you—he's letting you go. Come on, give, come on. He's letting okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Do it. Do it. I say, here we go. Negativity. It's, com it's oh. coming. My biggest Negative fear body. tonight was that uh, you're gonna play you, out. We, yeah, it was basically that <laughs> if you were gonna come on here and just like like not talk or, or be like a dick, I was like, I, I I had a little like concern about that. And I was like, if you were like that, you're gonna be awesome. And I didn't know what it was gonna be like. Well, so, at least you don't have to worry about me not talking. You still got to be worried about me being a dick. Um, yeah, well, you know, but that's, that's, okay. that's good. No, that's good because I, I do I have to deal with that from Victor every week, so I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. Dick, yeah, it, he's a dick, but at least he's interesting. You know, you can forgive the dickness well, that, slightly. No, but this is why I, I was so looking forward to the show. Because yeah, no, this is what um, this, this, but this is what's good, and it's good, and, and it's good that we're different, and that's what I, that's what I, I, I like. I mean, I, you, I don't look at it as a negative. difference. Yeah. Yeah. I well again. I, there's one thing I really kind of like and like appreciate you, but at the same time, like if I had to watch a video from Victor, okay. Mm. Actually, I think like technically, you make fucking way better videos than the guy does. Oh you know, yeah, no, absolutely. Sorry, yeah. Victor. Your camera quality is no. low. Your shots. Uh, <laughs> your editing is like it, yeah. But but. Well, we have now, a different. We have a different end game too. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, is with Victor, is like he, he's kind of like Howard Stern. You don't know what the fuck he's gonna say, so you kind of want to tune in to see, you know, what's gonna jumble out of your mouth, you know? You've got, you've got that, man. I mean, I, stuff that oh, you've no, seen you, you've your videos. Come on, dude. Yeah, I, never, I can't believe this stuff you put on your videos. Huh? That was the worst compliment. The best compliment I ever got was from um, Omega Man, something or other, one of your homeboys, one of your troll elites. There, I haven't Victor. Seen him for a while. Where? What happened to that guy? I, I don't know. I, you know. I, anyways, and uh, he said to me that you remind me of a young uh, Victor. Your real last name. I don't know if you put out your last name. And I was like, Boglio. who the hell is? Yeah. And it's I was like, Boglio. who the hell is that guy? <laughs> if he would have said, give me the flake bat, I would have been like, oh. You know. So again, good compliment, bad compliment, but mm. it was a compliment. It is what it is. Um. And okay. So I really liked your, your Hiko. You did that one guy with the uh, the racist guy. The guy that talked about racism. And like yeah. how we're all racist, right. yeah. brilliant guy. I mean, really made me think about my own like racism. I'm a racist. Book is local, mind blowing. Local in, local in, uh, local in Yokohama by, by, uh, by McNeil. His book is is mind blowing. I, I'm serious about that. He's a really great writer. He got a great editor as well. Because of, um, but yes, his, his book is really you you you'd dig it because it's a, it's a real super uh, introspective. Thing. He goes kind of like the guy I kind of want to be, but I, I just don't think I ever will. You, you, know what I mean? you, don't, want, you don't want to be me. You don't want to be you. you no, I mean, you, you get you, a lot done, man. It's amazing how much you get done. You got that blog coming out, and you got your videos, and your, and your job, which is I, I dabble. You know, I, I did this working for the government. Yeah, everything you know? half fast. Now, well, what about well, yeah, but what about what about going a little faster with that, Hiko? What about stepping up your uh, your end game here and going to that next level? You know. I'm kind of doing that now. I, I, since I've changed jobs, I've been pushing them. I've been pushing them, right? I've been pushing, been pushing them. But at the same time, you know, like it's got to be fun. You know, it's got to be. It's got to be at my pace. Uh, if it's not fun, I'll, you know, I don't. I don't want to push myself to a point that it's not fun. I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? I'm doing it because I love it. So that's. 
Yeah, okay, I'm but you know what? I, I don't. I don't believe that that's possible, though, right? Like, I mean, do you think? Uh, do you think like Charles Barkley or like an elite athlete? Do you think they're sitting there and they're like, "Wow, man, this is great every day." It's not, right? You gotta be. It's it's gotta be a love hate thing too, though, to a certain degree, to really get the excellence out of you. So I told Sonny that. That's one thing. You gotta. If you're gonna be a comedian, you gotta. You gotta put it out. It's not always gonna be great, but you gotta keep putting it out. And sometimes you're gonna hit gold. Sometimes yeah. accidentally, but you gotta. You gotta get out there. I hear Sonny puts out all the time for anybody. He I, he's especially little women. <laughs> Sonny, give me his number. Um, Japanarchist. Japanarchist, great job. Oh, yeah, he is funny. He is funny, but, uh, wow, there's a certain level, of, like, my douche, my douche alarm goes off whenever I see him, okay? Oh, no, he's, he's not douche. No, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a decent guy. He's really? too decent. He's, a, he's okay. too sensitive. He's too artistic. Well, then I take that he back. Cares. He cares I too much. I take that back, Sonny. He cares um, too much about quality. His video, his video with the chick that does the uh, interpretations in Japanese... Oh. Priceless. Japanese girl explains, yeah. yeah. Priceless. Yeah. Uh, okay, Victor, you yeah. like the slap down and the hand up. That's one of your things. Like every time you'll say something about me, for example, you'll be like, you'll be like, slap me, and then be like, but you know what I mean? Well, you know, I want people to under to believe me when I say something good, and so I got to be honest. I want I want them to realize that I'm not blind to your fault because you are you are you are not an easy person to like for the for the general populace. You're not mainstream. You're not mainstream, man. Look at well, you. Um, people want to <laughs> people want to no. slap you just for wearing those glasses right now. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you're, oh, a, a, sure, I would not be su- no, no, I would not be surprised if like other people out there, their douche alarms are fucking ringing right now, and that's all right, you know, because all I gotta say to you is like, you know, you don't want to like me. Well, I don't gotta explain myself to nobody. You can be, yeah. you know, you're gonna think I'm whatever you want me to be, you know. That's true. So, um, and 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 also, there's this guy last week, two hundred one Mario. Uh, oh. Yeah, special shout out. Go fuck oh, yeah. yourself. Okay, because you know what? Who wants to watch me? Who wants to watch you? Not even you want to watch you. That's why you don't post up videos. I heard that Kevin Busan um, banned him. Really? <laughs> like really? the nicest guy in the world. Uh, actually, Kevin runs a good channel though, right? Like, so if somebody gets on his comments and starts saying shit, he'll take them off, right? And he said, like, you know, you control your your commenters. You control that area. That is our space. Mm. You know. Yeah. So I, I don't control it though. I've never banned anybody. Hiko, you ever banned anybody? Heaps of people, yeah. Wow. I just well, started this and, one. And, and I don't even give them warnings either. No, honestly, I, I, there's, there's a line. I think everyone knows what it is. I, I don't do it lightly, but, you know, if there's someone clearly crossing the line and clearly testing me, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll you know. Yeah, but, I, but I don't do it lightly. I don't do it lightly, but I do it. I don't I don't mess about with it when I do it. You don't waste time with people. Yeah. Okay, another question. Um, uh, non-white people talk in Japanese. What do you figure? <laughs> Non-white. Uh, no, oh, so sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Japanese people speak Japanese, 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 Japanese and non-white. I mean. <laughs> okay, that, that's that's actually. But you know what? I will say that I don't like when I talk to a Japanese person on the street, and I'll be like, and they speak to me in English. You know, like the hell out of me. I don't like it. No, no, fuck off. You know what I mean? I mean, like, who cares? You can speak English. It's great. You know what I mean? I mean, you should be able to. Well, it's, you don't need to show it off to me. You know, mm. if I'm speak, especially if I'm going to speak to you in Japanese first, and you're going to come back with like. Yeah, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know. McDonald's or Dokotoba. And they're like, yeah, McDonald's is over there. Okay. You know, I mean, it's showing off. The best experience I've ever had with this is there's this one guy I was doing a Matsuri. And um, at the end of the Matsuri, uh, you know, I said, you know, I said, you can speak English, can you? And he's like, yeah, man. I, I lived in California. But he never, ever, you know, put it on. Like, and I thought, man, how many times have I done that? Like, I was in Canada, for example, and these Japanese people in front of me. And I'm like, ah, so you saying, nanka tetsudaoka, you know? And like, why do I gotta show off that I can speak Japanese? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, go ahead, Hiko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question: What yeah. do you think of white people sitting up here and speaking Japanese? Because you are somebody that does that. I do. Yeah, you whitey. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, the thing is that I, I think go home. I, I I think I'm excellent, and I just like showing off and making everyone else feel inferior. And that's how it's taken, and that's how you see it. I do feel that, by the way. <laughs> I feel inferior. I don't feel that. I feel you're excellent, but I don't feel like you're showing off. Here, here's how it works. But it's you like, make mistakes sometimes, too, just like me. Like, no, just like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't feel like you're showing off, but I do feel that you've reached a level of excellence that makes... I mean, like, when I hear you, it's like, wow, I could body tight, you know? But, like, it's... I don't, I don't feel that you're showing off so much. I do feel that there are people that are doing it to, like, say, you know, my Japanese dick is bigger than yours, you know? Yeah. Here, Which here's is the thing. 
Uh, so when I when I was learning Japanese, and I used to, I used to have a huge because I used to be around really fluent uh, white New Zealand you know speakers of Japanese in New Zealand, and it used to give me all these complexes and stuff like that. Um, and I think until you get to that point that you're not feeling inferior, once you, you get to a certain level where you stop feeling that, and when you stop feeling that, you're totally cool talking. But it's only when I don't know when, when you want to improve. <laughs> You know, you kind of. But at the same time, what I always found was hearing people who are better than me, who look like me, who are speaking Japanese, will always really motivated me. And I use those people like as my my own goal to get better. Mm, mm. And so part of it is I know one, I, well, I'm not feeling insecure about it anymore, and I'm not doing it to show off. I mean, I'm I'm comfortable doing it. And I'm doing it intentionally trying to reach out to Japanese people. But at the same time, I can see in the re, you know I, I can also see that there are people who um. You know, uh, I do go to the trouble to put the subtitles on so people can follow. And right. if it helps people be like the people who I used to kind of look up to and who helped me get better, I mean, I kind of, so I kind of want to do that. I want to help people get up the way that I did. You know, so there's that as well. But the truth is, for me, it's it's like someone in Canada. It's like an Indian person who migrated to Canada and lived there for 14 years and speaks English with a Canadian accent. Why should he feel self-conscious about that? I've lived here for 14 years. You know, I. I'm a migrant. I'm a permanent migrant. And I, you know, well, why should I be goofy about speaking what's what should be my natural language? You know, and okay. it is. So that's how it is. Great answer, uh, Victor. Would you like to contend or add anything? I don't understand goofy. What do you mean by be goofy? How how are people goofy? You mean like Our accents, dude? Accents, man. Oh. I mean, I say orangey, and everyone's like, "What do you mean orangey?" Like, I don't want an orange. You know. Orangey. Mm. Orangey. Um, orangey. Well. How do, I, I don't, uh, I know I'm, I'm no, I know, I don't get to practice Japanese very much, actually. And actually, I'm speaking to my wife in English almost all the time, because when we go back to the States, when she deals with my parents, when, they, when we talk on Skype, I want her to be able to fend for herself. And she's improved quite a, quite a great, deal, great deal since we got married, because she didn't speak any English at all, right? It was all just Japanese before. So I think my Japanese is probably leveled off or gone down, but I'm still like the writing is still improving. I'm still reading newspapers and crap like that. So, but I, I'm I'm very aware of my um, inferior level to where I should be, and I'm not proud of it. But yesterday I do it, I, and I'm I'm very um, sensitive about it. I don't like doing Japanese vlogs anymore. I used to do I used I started off with Japanese vlogs. I only did Japanese vlogs for a long time mm -hmm. on Victor of the World, but I did them once in a while. Like I did one yesterday, and it was a bilingual thing. And yeah, I yeah, with really, uh, with Tomoko, yeah. Yeah, she's just the voice because she'd never make up on it or whatever. But she's cutie, man. By the way, tell her that. I, she's I'll interesting, man. I'll tell her. She'll watch this. She'll just say hello. She'll watch this. She'll, she watches us. Well, then, hello, Tomoko Mirai. No. But I got a really nice comment from an old lady who said, Yo, Victor, your Japanese is very polite. I'm very impressed with uh, your Japanese. And I, you know, I don't get compliments like that anymore from old people. And I think the, for some reason I value their, their opinion more because they actually know their Japanese more than young people. You know? But, um, um, actually, I, I have I've only done one vlog in um, in, uh, in in uh, in in Japanese, mm -hmm. and you know I mean it was years ago, right? So like I mean at that point I guess I was kind of be like okay I can fit in and I can speak Japanese and you know mm -hmm. I am I'm not just one of those gaijin motherfuckers that just come here and can't speak Japanese. I'm not talking to you rhyming gaijin. I'm not. <laughs> okay. No, because actually I do like the guy, but he always has this, this thing where he's like, he always has to defend the fact that he doesn't really speak Japanese or that, and actually I caught another video from, um, who's the guy with all the tattoos? Unrested. Oh, uh, yeah. And he was yeah. saying that, like, you know, some of his people were saying, how come you don't speak Japanese in your videos? Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't feel the need to do it in my videos, like, yeah. to show that I, you know. And I think it's unnatural for a lot of people. I feel mm. like, again, for, for the way you speak, Victor, you'll do a half, like, you know, like, and then half back into English, right? And, like, but Hiko, again, who, who again, he's almost, you know, peta peta, right? Well, he is peta peta. Mm. He is peta. You know? Where me and Victor, it is peta. Mm. You get that joke? Mm. I get it. Peta? I no. Get <laughs> You're missing the second one? Okay. Um, oh, okay, okay. Here's a here's an oyaji gagu, and I don't know if uh, you guys will get it or not, because a lot of Japanese. So, 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 so. Mm -hmm. they, okay. Um, kanji yomu nai kero, kuki yomu. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. eh? Tell oh, me okay. that's not a fucking t-shirt right there, right? Yeah, that's good. That's you good. can still that. Yeah, yeah, no, I just tried to tell that to somebody yesterday, and the guy's like, and I just, like literally saw the fucking question mark. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the opposite. I can't you make it look good? I mean, I'm, I'm totally, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm awkward. So no, can't you, no? Okay. Um, 
Well, can you catch us up? Can I, you got more? Well, I'll let you go. Keep going. You got some what, questions. You guys, you some... Yeah, yeah. I just want to. Um, um, well, okay. Thank. Like for me, like too. Like, do you remember back in the day when people used to go on people's pages and like thank them for subscribing to their, yeah. you know? And like you used to see like like the same like honestly to God like hey thanks for checking me out you know? And like it's like on the same you know the exact like they just copy and paste it. And yeah. like so, like I don't, rep I don't even like replying to people's comments or having interaction. So I, I don't even like, see them anymore. I, have, I haven't looked on my page for for months. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the whole new system sucks, anyways. So I just think, I just think, yeah. like it's really like YouTube for me has now become like kind of stressful uh, because of interaction and like not wanting to be like, like I don't know, popular, but at the same time you do want to. Do you know what I mean? Like there is something that makes me want to. Um, be liked, you know, and so. Sure, that's natural. Well, it's an affirmation. I mean, you know, it's it's. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> I just okay. Back. Speaking of comments, check this out. Your uh, this is I just read my comments for the first time in months. Your subscribers number has gone from three thousand thirty four thousand seven hundred sixty seven to thirty four thousand seven hundred sixty six. I'd lost one, right? I know it's not a significance, but I used to look up to you as a true source of inspiration. Not any more goodbye. <laughs> Do I, am I supposed to care? I don't give a fuck. You know, I really don't even look at. The, I don't even okay, know how many subscribers I have. I wouldn't know unless. I um. Know. Okay. Hold on. There's a. Okay. Um. Um. There's somebody saying that we were on like a questionnaire TV show, and um, your face is so annoying. And is is that to me? Great no. yeah, <laughs> it was me. I'm black. Him and two other white guys. Uh, hmm. So you were. So you were the, like the reverse Oriole. Um. I've seen you yeah. on TV a couple of times though, and so I've seen you. You've seen on. I've seen you on TV. Yeah, you, you I, 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 when I, was, I was on TV. Yeah, remember? But I mean, you know what it's like too, man. I mean, you know, just because I'm white, I get an automatic pass to be on TV. It's like, but but they, there's that guy Jean Cap, right? Like they keep us at a fucking level, you know? Like, no, it's it's true though, right? Like whatever happened to um, Saint Camus or um, Saint Camus? sued his uh, talent agency and he's blackballed now. He, he won't be allowed back on TV. Same thing with Bobby. The same thing uh, with him? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. There um, so, well, and that, that's the thing, right? I mean, as long as we stay in our fucking little box, then we're cool. But it's like the second mm. you want to actually do something and like, you know, I, I want to get on TV just one time and somebody asks me how the food tastes and I'm like, yeah, it's all right, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but, um, but remember, that's not just a gaijin box. That's a talento box. I mean, that's right. like, it's it, it's a horrible industry. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, there, there are some people who manage to get to a point they can express some opinions, but, you know, it's it's, it's a hard road. Okay, one more, and then I am done um, okay. with this. Um, the reason we Victor actually ended up kind of hooking up, or, oh, we never really hooked up for real yet. I'm not still yet. waiting for the next YouTube. Uh, I'll, I'll um, get my pink wig. Um, it, uh, you said something about being humble, that I should be humble, right? And I think that's yeah. really funny because, yeah, that, that was his whole video was be humble, be okay, you and K. Actually, if you Google my name, it's the fucking video that comes up. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway. It's a long, that's two years ago. I don't remember the context, but I do remember making that video. Well, you said about the idea that, uh, you know, uh, uh, an eagle hides his talents or whatever. You know uh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. And I think that's uh, really funny, though, because... Um, I don't always find you to be the most humble person, um, but um, I'm actually much bigger and much better than you than I let on most of the time. I hide a lot of stuff. This this is true. This is true. So okay, somebody said to me recently, I was working in a bar, and they're all like, "Hey, you look like Tom Cruise," and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not as smart as he is," and and like after that, that kind of rung back in my head because like there I am, self not what self defeating. Yeah, I, I want to say defecating. I like um, to say self-defecating. I'm a self-defecate all the time. My wife <laughs> hates it, really. Um, and then I was like, really, why? Why would I say that? Like, do I actually think that I'm not as smart as he is? No. I mean, like, now, do I think I'm as good looking as he is? It doesn't fucking matter. But now I'm gonna try to make them feel comfortable in the situation by, the, you know, like, why can't I just take a compliment and be like, hey, cool, thanks. You know, I got to make some kind of joke about it. So it's really well, weird. Like, I I wouldn't even say that was a compliment. I just say they think that you look like Tom Cruise. But all all Japanese people. I mean, I'm sorry, ah, but I, ah, no, 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 I no. here here is I, where it stops because I she wasn't Japanese. She wasn't Japanese. She wasn't oh, Japanese. Okay. Wasn't Japanese. Really? Japanese only know Beckham, Tom Cruise, and uh, Johnny Depp, and, and, and Lady Gaga. 
It, I bet you, I bet I, you get the, uh, you, you must get that a lot. Sometimes I get the Lady Gaga thing, but Madonna not yet. No. I, I'm not that old yet. You you might get that, but uh, no, so, I, okay, I, I'm done. I got the uh, do you know Madonna question. <laughs> I get that all the time. Um, okay, well, shit, uh, let me respond Free to you. You know what? I will, I will respond. Oh, shit, the door just closed. Let me, let me open it up. It's hot in here. Hey, uh, you people in the comment, can I go have a... Um, Come back. All right, so um, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I got, I made, I made friends with Mexican Samurai 100, and he's a good guy, and he had some beef about, um, he had a beef about take, take TKYO Sam, and I was telling him he's not that bad, you know, you know, you gotta get to know him, you know, get to know him, you're not gonna, you're not feel that way. And he's like, no, nah, I can't stand the guy. I've never met him, and I said, well, let's let's make a video, and I'll introduce you, and we'll and we'll bitch about things, and I'll and I'll take the other side because a lot. See, the thing is, a lot of people think the same way as. People sign I mean, what? We gotta get off this? Why? No, 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 no. Somebody asked me about my watch. Sorry, man. It's it's okay. distracting. I'm having like conversations okay. with no, you. No, no, it's right. This guy and then the comments. I, was telling, I thought you were telling me, okay, Victor, we got we got a time limit here. Or <laughs> I was like, really? When did this happen? Uh, so a lot of people feel the same way about uh, TKYO Sam as mixing Samurai. People who don't know him, they slag on him. So I thought I'm gonna give I'm gonna give people a chance to hear out his side, and then they can go check him out, and then they can have a little fight about it. And, We'll get to introduce someone new, and at the same time, kind of defend TKY, TKYO Sam by 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 presenting that. But people, people feel say, negative towards Mexican Samurai. No, no, towards TKYO Sam. And yeah, but Sam is Sammy Dushi. Like, and Sam Sam knows that, right? Like, he's he's open to that. And like, I know him as a person. And when I first met him, I thought, okay, this is not a person I want to know. But I mean, you know that it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's just a show, right? Like. You know, we all have our personalities on this thing. This is not this is not me, okay? Um, you know, Victor, I've met you in person, and that's pretty close to you. But you're actually it's pretty close. You know, mm. I'm I'm pretty you much know, in your, I'm actually worse in in real life. I'm actually more in your. I'm nicer on the internet. I think I will be if you're a fucker. I will tell you in your face. You're a fucker. Yeah. Fuck off. I'm not going to shake your hand. Fuck off. Just step away. I will. I mean, you know that. And I don't. I don't even like that about me because it makes all my friends uncomfortable. But but it's honest. Is there too much? Is there a thing? Is too much honesty? Yeah, yeah, there is. There See, is. <laughs> that's that's what I'd expect, though, right? Um, I'm 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 not sure, though, man, because you know what? I mean, like, okay, for example, like with my okay, so any I've been married for like two years now, right? Like it's been a long time since I've done a video, so. Uh, I know, man. What yeah? What's up with that? Two years of marriage, man, and like you know what? I mean, I still haven't cheated, and it's like. I think, you know, like I told you, though, that, like, I don't know, well, I, you know, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's going to happen. This yeah. is why I like you. This is why I, right, Hiko? Come on. Yeah, yeah, this is why yeah, I like you. Because like I this. told my wife I'm going to cheat on her? <laughs> Come on, I mean. No, but it's you, like, you talk about stuff like this. A lot of well, okay, I'm, I'm real about it. I'm real about it. But, like, it's like being an alcoholic, you know what I mean? Like, I know that, like, I'm not drinking today, you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm going to get a drink. Just wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so quiet, man? What's up? Um, I might have to jump off soon, actually. Oh, unfortunately, no. although I'm loving this, but yeah. So we'll see. I'll, I'll hang around a bit longer. The missus. All right. Do whatever you can. Rock him if you got him. Cheers. Uh, Nico, you don't drink very much, or what? I, I, I've just gotten home, but uh, you know, one for the homies. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, well, actually, Hegel, since you got to go first, why don't you address anything that uh, he's that Bill Kunk said? Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know, people get on the spot like that. I mean, I, I like to go with the flow of the conversation, but uh, yeah, man. I mean, I, I, I love to hear like how your uh, engagement with B Takeshi is going on and how that's all working. I, I've heard a little bit of the story, but I, I want to get the update. Deep well, shit, what? right? Deep yeah. shit. Okay, oh. so. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, you know, I mean, it's something I really don't even want to talk about because it's like it was so pent up and like built up, and like it's only what me and him know. So, for example, anything I say is just purely what I'm saying. Um, so, like, even when I did the video, people are like, "Oh man, well, so what? You you met him somewhere, and like, you know, you got a picture with him, like, you know." So, you know, the, the trolls are gonna say whatever they want, but I'll tell you as I know it. Um, he told me that uh, you know, because my visa was running out, he said, "Go on home." And uh, come on back, and you can come stay at my Deshi's place, because he's got like a, a place for all his Deshi. I mean, he's got a fucking yeah. lot of Deshi. So yeah. it wouldn't Deshi, be uh, like apprentices, uh, apprentices. Okay, for those of you who don't understand. And um, and I, I was like, okay, cool. And so then I had like a month left on my visa, and you know, I was just 
walking with my wife at the time, my, my, my girlfriend at the time, and, like, you know, um, you know, kind of came up, man. I mean, like, I, I, I feel bad about it, too, because in my, some of my videos, I'm like, I'm never getting married for a visa. Well, that's not entirely true. I mean, but it wouldn't be entirely true to say I got married for a visa. You know what I mean? There's so many factors that go into getting married. Yeah. I mean, here there's another big name YouTuber who's doing the same thing. I'm not going to mention that person. Yeah, that's not <laughs> Throw him under the bus, Victor. Come on, I'll roll over him, man. Let's do it. Uh, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say it completely. I'm just going to tantalize you with it. There we go. Okay. okay. You got married for a visa? He called. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> so, lost all respect. Um, anyways, I went to Canada with my wife, introduced her to the family, came on back, and, um, you know, I was in touch with this guy. I dropped a couple letters, like, to my contact to him. Mm -hmm. um, that was it, you know, and, like, I've been on TV. I've been on his TV show a few times, and, like, I even wore a shirt saying, like, you know, uh, Takeshi wa uno, Unochi, you know, like, I mean, yeah, my yeah. wife made me this shirt, you know, I mean... So, I mean, he knows where I am, man. He knows I'm around. And it's just like, to me, it's like he's, to me, he's just saying, okay, I need to show him more, you know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, if he and knows then, who you are, and he's just, and he's, even if you're not, like, in his, in his main peripheral, but if you're, if you're off to the side, but if, he, but if he's aware of you, that's great, yeah. Well, the next time I come back to him and I have something to actually offer him and show him, I think it'll be a totally different conversation we're having. Because I was asking him, you know what I mean, for a handout. And, um, you know, I think I need to ask him a little bit more for a hand up. Anyways, I, I've gone up and down. Like, the last two years, like, I've devoted, again, the same time to keep on going and keep, like, that's why I got into the acting and, like, you know, the modeling thing is because I wanted to be involved in that world to get, him, you know, closer to him, right? Yeah. And Clint Eastwood was a model. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, well, actually, hey, you're an English teacher, so you have nothing to be ashamed of. Hey, but you know what, dude? I'm an English teacher now, too. So and, I and like teaching English. I don't have a problem with it. Really? You know, I got an email yesterday going, "Hey, unrested, get out of English teaching. Unrested, get out of English teaching. Isn't that great?" I'm like, it "Yeah, is. that's cool. That's great. It yeah, it's wonderful." We've, goes, we've got to we've got to do this like, again. But I, but I've got to go. We've got an emergency sorry. here, so I, I'm, I I may pop back on. But I probably won't. But we've got to get you back. I'm loving this okay. actually, and I, I want to do this more. So thank you. Okay, we'll get him back on. We'll get him back yeah. on. He'll be the we'll first returning. Well, Quit besides yeah. milk jam juice. So Victor, we we what what because oh, we gotta go. We gotta go too, or what? No, no. Okay, no, well let's no, go. You guys keep going. But I'll, I'll, this I'll is mono a mono. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Hegel, as always, a good pleasure, man. And uh, oh, split. Oh, he got, he's fast, man. Faster. Okay. Wow, just got you know, he's, here, you know, now that he's gone, his videos are so boring, man. I, don't, I never watch them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You, you do know though that he has actually a real artistic quality to it. Oh, he does. He does. He puts a lot of work um, in videos. Yeah, it's almost too clean. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel I'll tell you what I told him. I said, look, if you go, if you want to succeed on YouTube, you got to put stuff out more. You got to you got to create a series. And I told him to do his uh, do the um, Instagram series. Like his his Instagram pictures are really really interesting. So I said, so I said, uh, I just got an email from from someone who said this guy is a fucking tool. But I'm not going to tell you. I can't tell you who it is because he's he's the kind of person who he wouldn't appreciate it. But but um, hey, but, but I okay, like both but you of know you. What? He's but, watching this, hey, and I hey. like both of you. And you know what though, I say to that guy too. I, I would like to call you a tool, but I don't know who you are. So you're welcome to prejudge me. No, he's a he's a good guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to the camera he, guy who just sent me the email um, on my phone. Uh, no, he's he. Anyways, let's he's, move on. Man. I don't want to waste time. He's with well. Okay, okay. So yeah, I told Hiko Simon do the uh, do the Instagram once a weekly Instagram. These are my picture for Instagram, and you go through the pictures and explain them because they're really interesting, and I want to know more about them and how he took them. That was one easy, easy idea. And the other thing is do, do one on, uh, on electronics. He's always doing apps. He's always telling me about these new apps he found. He never makes videos about it. So do that. I mean, there's, there's, there's money in that. You can support this. And your wife will, will she'll be okay with it if you're bringing in some money from this. So. Hmm, hmm. And, and well, Japanese women, and, and maybe, I don't know about you, man, but Japanese women are okay. They don't really care what you do. Well, not any women, any wife, I think. Okay. Is okay if they find out that you're bringing home some money with whatever you're doing on the side, as long as it's not a as long as, long as it's not a woman. So. No, dude, dude, that's not even true, man. I think women, like, once you get to a certain level, will forgive you of almost. Okay, so like, um, I'm gonna air it all out. I'm just gonna, you know, because I mean, it's been a long time since I've done yeah, one of these. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I told my wife when I got married to her. Okay, I said two things, man. Um, 
for sure, like, not, I would have sex with none of her friends, okay? That's the bottom line. Number two, nobody ever comes over to our house like that. Like, you know, if, if you have a mistress, you never bring them into your house. That, that's our way. You know, I keep them separated from the world. Uh, also, the last thing was, is that if I get to be, like, Kitano Takeshi level, I want to have mistresses. So, so I'm still not, I'm still not that level yet, but when I get well, to the level... I had, um, I had a girlfriend many, many years ago who told me once, and we were engaged actually, and she said, and she said uh, basically, as long as she never gets between us, I don't care if you have girlfriends. And actually, when she said that, I was like, I don't think this is going to work out because... Wow, wow. You know, for me, okay. it was like... No, I, agree, I, mean, I, I had no, a girlfriend no, one time. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not criticizing at all, but no. I've also had girls come up to me, um, and this was all before I was married for anyone who's watching um, and then, honey, if you're watching downstairs on your iPad, um, <laughs> <laughs> she might be watching. I don't know. She watches my English, uh, my English shows only. You um, Cardi, right? Is this we're talking you Cardi? No, 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 no. You Cardi. Okay. <laughs> that's, okay. that's that is hilarious because you know my wife's name you Cardi too. I never say that. I never said that oh, really? once in my video. No, but my wife's name is Yoko, not not you Cardi. You guys are the manager for the school. She's she's Maggie Sensei. Wow, she's and great. I that was she's your great. Wife. No, she's great, but she's 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 just as cool. Victor, uh, you're already living the dream, huh? Okay, continue, sorry. <laughs> so, I had a girl uh, friend, uh, I won't even say a girlfriend, but this girl I knew who, I used to run, when I ran the bar, she, she used to come to the bar all the time, and she's like, Cut, well, you know, why don't we go out or something? I said, no, you know, you know, I, I like you, we're, we're friends. And she's like, you can, we can just have fun. Asobi dake de eat. And asobi means fun. And this is like a weird concept for me. She basically said, hey, let's, you can, it's okay if you just play with me. I mean, that's a literal translation. So that kind of woman, I think, is more common. I don't know. Am I wrong? Are they more common in Japan? Mm. The women who are, who are, are willing to settle for less? Uh, no, no, it's not. Dude, well, you, you well, no, 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 no. Maybe they're more honest. It, it, okay, okay. So if you love somebody and they hate you, does that change your love for them? Let's be real about it. So I think Gakuni, uh, all the people that are like, you know, they want you to love them back, or like they need you. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I want to say respect, but that's not true because I do respect my wife, even though like if I did cheat on her, that's not a. It is a disrespectful thing. Fuck, Christ. Um, um I mean, I'm. I, I think would me, say it's a. It's necessarily disrespect. It because I don't. I don't believe that they they exist on the same parallel plane. You know. Okay. Okay. But, I think. Um, I think love for me is doesn't need to be returned, okay? So, for again, um, if somebody really loves you, they're not going to try to, you know, change you or keep you in a, you know, I mean, you know, she, the reason why I'm with my wife right now is because, you know, I went through a lot of girls at the time when I first came to Japan, and I think, you know, you might understand what I'm saying when you first came here. Yes. Um, and she was the first girl, though, that was like, okay, well, I'm just not going to let you just, you know, run away or, 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 you know, um, you know, she was going to stick around until I understood her, you know? My, yeah, actually, I think the reason I finally decided I was going to get married was because she stuck around when I was going through hard times, like, mm. and she hard. was the one who stuck around, and I never intended to get married, but she's the one who stuck around, and I realized, and actually, we broke up like three times, and I kept coming back to her. Because of our friendship, more than anything, you know. I mean, we just we just have this. Um, we we're just happy together, you know. We just we're just silly. We're both silly people. We like being silly. We but we're both children, and we're relaxed in front of, with each other. I think and actually I like your wife, man. I like the fact that she doesn't want to appear on your YouTube thing. And she like, doesn't I mean, care about it. She well, it's it. not that she doesn't care about it. I think obviously she does because she cares enough not to be. Um, you know, I mean, maybe she's allowing you this, um, this separation. This is your thing, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, this is your den, right? You know, this mm. is your, your male den, you know? I mean, if she... Yeah, maybe. Could be. You know? And also, maybe she doesn't want to hear some of the stuff, too, though, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't like it when I, you know, when I... She's like, what do you care what other people think about this or that? You know, who cares? Everyone's free to do whatever they want. I mean, and, and then, you know, when it, comes, when it comes down to it, she's right. Like, we're, here's the thing about YouTube and, and human beings. We want to push our fucking morals on everybody else. Like, you should behave this way. I mean, even you, who's a, who is a great rebel, you're like, you shouldn't badmouth Sam. That's not cool. You should 
that's not cool. To, I mean, you have your own morals too. Right? No, 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 no. I, I figure we're like all gunslingers. You know what I mean? I mean, the only thing that makes me more right than you is my gun. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking uh, about it, I'm lost. What do you mean, your gun? <laughs> the only thing that makes my ideas correct or tadashi is 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 the way I present them, or like you know me. You know, there is no. Um, uh, your delivery, you know? you're right. Your gun is your delivery, and your bullet is your message. Okay, I get it. I don't so, know if that's what you meant, but that's what I No, 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 no. I, you know, I speak in fucking metaphorical terms, man. And I don't know if you remember, uh, what is it, uh, spaceships on Mars or snicker bars on Mars? Do you remember if fucking Betamax did that? Where's Betamax, huh? Oh. The hey, most in the, talent, that in guy the comment, people, up. in the comment, please fucking write me down some YouTubers from, like, the second generation, because I'm part of the second gen. Victor, you'd be part of the first. Coney, yeah. Give me some second generers that Cooney, aren't around. Cooney, me, Cooney and I were in the first. Betamax DC was the best. He was the funniest guy around. He was, he was. Hands, I think he was funnier than anyone, including Cooney. No offense to Cooney. And even Cooney was like, this guy's a natural. No, he is pretty funny. He is pretty funny. Um, the one thing I didn't like about him is that mm -hmm. I never got to actually know who he was from his videos. No, you can't tell anything about him. Yeah, no, no, literally. Uh, and, you know, like, I mean, but that's just different. For me and you, me and you are people that we get on here and we like to fucking commit a little ha uh, hotty kitty, hotty kitty, hotty kitty. Hotty kitty. Yeah, you know what I mean? We like to get out here and just spill it all out because that's how we get off, I guess, is complete voyeurism. Well, yeah, I like the, I like the honesty and I like showing a lot of myself. I don't show all of it, but I show more than most, I think. Um, yeah, no, you, you, you can't theoretically show all of it, guy. You know, yeah. I mean, I think... You know, I'm, think calling, I'm calling Betamax DC right now. He's not going to answer, but I'm... And there he is, like, just so he goes, because he beta max to see Are you showing his number, man? He'll no, get, I'm, not show, I'm not showing his number, just showing his name. So, okay, I'm going to check the comments while you're doing that. Let's do a okay. divisional no, favor. No, yeah, go ahead. Um, He's not going to answer. He never answers. Third generation. Who is third generation? Would be... Um, System Jack. Well, very Mitchell. true. Hey, I forgot Mitchell to say Samurai. that, man. Huh? I wanted to know why you guys never got System Jap on the 2.5. He, he even made a video saying he wanted he to do the 2.5. He dropped out... Oh. Hey, Betamax DC, it's Victor. I'm here with Bill Kunk on the live Two and a Half Oyajis, and uh, we're all wondering where the fuck you are and why you don't make videos anymore. Uh, and we're tripping with Mars. Tripping Snicker bars with on Mars. Mars. Snicker, Snicker bars on Mars. I don't know what that means. but Snicker okay. bars on Mars. I don't know what. Snicker bars on Mars. I you know, hope you're doing great, <laughs> man. And off, off the record, there's a possibility we're doing, we're going to have a Tokyo party on uh, August 25th. Off the record. Don't tell anybody, guys. Get him for one of these, too, though. Get him for oh, one of these. Oh, he would be great. He'd be great to, to get on this. But. Um, anybody else for the two points? Current generation is probably about three, three oh, okay. Point five. you're right. You're right about uh, System Japan. I saw him in New York City. He's a great guy. We had a, real, uh, we had a lot Apocalypse of fun. He's one of the few up. guys. Huh? Apocalypse is here, too. Uh, uh, is he uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Radray, he says. Radray. And Radray's very, you know, again. He's, what happened he's, to Radray? He disappeared, too. Me and Radray are actually kind of occupying the same space because, like, in that point in time, we both want to be directors, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. And so I thought that was very... And actually, he's definitely got a much more professional edge to him than I do. Um, Have you met Anton X? Yeah, of course, man. Of course. I've, I've never, never met him. Asked. I'm no? glad to see him back on my blog. He, he did not like Mark. He thought Mark was a fucking freak, and I gave him shit for it. I'm like, dude, so what? He wears women's clothes and shit. Listen, listen, I will say something. There's a triangle of understanding, okay? And when you know only so much of yourself, you're, like, so let's say you're at the bottom here, your mm -hmm. understanding of people is that. But when you understand more of yourself, the triangle flips, and you can, like, understand more people. Does that make sense? Or is that just snicker bars well, on the Mars? flipping, I don't get the flipping, but I do understand it, because you know what? I, I, would, I will be honest. Ten years ago, I would have said, Mark, you're a fucking freak. Get away from me. I don't talk to you. And I probably wouldn't talk to you either. I mean, I would be like, but I've grown, and a co cosplay doesn't bother me. Transvestites don't bother me. Guys sucking cock, none of that bothers me. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You know, there's so many, you know, people... People want to label everything because they're they're scared. They're scared. Oh, I don't understand this. I gotta label this. Label this. Label this. Label this. Gaijin, uh, Gaijin Gakuse, you are right. Like, I mean, what blow me away is how many people on that video. Like, I mean, like one of the fucking. I wouldn't want a girl who wouldn't have. Who wouldn't no, no, no. He's just saying that Mark is awesome, you know. And it's like, oh, Knox is a transvestite. Uh, you son of a bitch. I am. Um, actually, I'm a new half. New I would wear I would wear some women's clothes because they're cool, like shoes. Women have the coolest shoes in the world, man. We our shoes are so boring. 
Women's Dude, shoes are so cool. That's like kind of burning your guy flag, uh, your guy membership card, because, I mean, really, why would you want to wear the high heels? So, like, no, no, not high heels. I'm just saying the variety they have is amazing. Clothes in general for women. I don't want to wear yeah. high heels. I just think the variety is just amazing. We don't have any variety. What do we got? Boots? Boots? I mean, I got cowboy boots and Harley boots, and that's about it. Boots, boots. Victor, do you think you're a good dresser? No, not at all. In fact, I, I kind of pride myself on... on See, now that's thinking. the thing, though, right? It's like that, that, that then stretches your heterosexuality, is the fact that you're a bad dresser. Ah, I suppose so. No, I mean... I mean like, people, I, hate this, people hate this hat, that's why I wear it. People are like, I fucking hate that hat, so I'm good, I'm going to wear it more now. Fuck you. <laughs> that's okay, why I wear it now. In Canada, like, people like to tell you what is gay and what's straight. And, like, for me, it's like, if you listen to that shit, then that's pretty gay. You know? Yeah. I mean, no, you've got to decide for yourself what is, you know, masculine I have, I have pink shirts and I have red underwear. I, I don't care. Yeah. And high heels, I know, apparently. I know. Not high heels. No. no. Uh, you know, when I was uh, in the 1970s, well, this is before your time, but John Travolta days. I, I got John Travolta Saturday Night Live high heels, oh. disco shoes. I had them, actually. Um, I think I wore them like five times and then... They, I grew out of them because I was, you know, they were, they were, I was that age when everything grew. But, um, um, so, um, um, you so, know, what, so what happened to you? You two years, you're married, and you told your wife this, and and how did she react? I mean, what was how was her reaction? Uh, give I mean, me you're telling you're telling us what you told her, but what did she say? I mean, what can she say, guy? Right? I mean, you know, um. You know, I think, like, again, she wins me over just by her silent stubbornness. Like, you know, I mean, she, she knows me. I cannot, I cannot, um, I can't cheat on her, you know? I mean, it's like, well, good. Bec well no, because she's so, she's so good to me. And it's like, you know, if I did it, I would feel it. And I'd probably feel the need to tell her more than likely, but I'd feel it, you know? And uh, coming home to that would be hard for me. So, um... You know, I'm, not I'm, trying, I'm not trying to justify your infidelity at all or even promote it, but I would say that, um, and this is something I, I, I read in a book or whatever, but, I, but I, it struck me as being true, that sometimes living with the guilt is the more noble thing to do than to bring it home. My mom says it's, that. It's never going to happen again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, if you do it, you wear the sin. No, and, um, you know, I mean, okay, so, for example, the time I did cheat on her and I was when we were dating, um, she found out through YouTube because I did a video talking about it, right? Mm. And, um, you know, I mean, I probably wouldn't go about that way again. Like, you know, I don't think I'd broadcast it to everybody, you know? So even if I was cheating or have cheated on her, you wouldn't know. But, um, you know, I mean, I, uh, I don't think I can wear that, you know? I mean, there's, you know, fuck, I don't want to live in a, I don't want to live in a fake world with as much as possible, you know? I want to be as real as possible. And especially with somebody you're married to, I mean, why, why you got to lie to that person, right? Right, right, yes, yes. So, I agree, um, I agree. I will agree with you. You know, I mean, I mean, this, again, man, we're, I mean, the, the world is fucking, uh, like, I'm, I'm an adult, you know, I'm not into the whole, like, you know, Disney idea or that concept of, like, you know. Hollywood uh, fucked everybody with that idea of Hollywood love. You know what I mean? And, and, hey, and those producers are going home with fucking everybody, you know? I mean, like, it's, it's not real, man. So, again, I'm, I'm still struggling with it day by day. Marriage has been a great thing for me. It's really taught me a lot about myself and understanding. Like, for me now, love is more so, like, um, trust. Like, I can trust her. I can trust her yeah. to, like... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely trust my wife. You know, I can, I, I can trust her that I can say something and she's not going to, like, you know, you know, ditch out on me or run out on me or, like, whatever, you know? I mean, we can, we can work together. Um, so, you know, and that's what she's been doing, you know, I mean, again, it's, it's been, it's been rough, man, fucking, I'm used to, um, I, I, I'm used to kind of doing my own thing, and I'm not doing my own thing, so it, it's difficult. Mm. Um, you're not doing your thing, though, you're an English teacher now. I, okay, I am a part-time, let's go back to the English teacher, because that was a hot topic. Oh, um, really? Yeah, 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 because you know what, the reason why I don't like English teachers is, if you're a cab driver in New York, what ethnic? I, I was. I was a cop driver. In okay, America. but you were the rarity, dude. Okay, if you were an ethnic, I if you speak were an very ethnic, English very well. 
Right. <laughs> See? And that's what I'm saying, man. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what people automatically image. Like, when I meet somebody, they're like, oh, you're an English teacher. Okay, because you're white. Um, you know? So it, that's why I don't want to be part of that whole scene. Uh, now, do you actually, like, do you actually like teaching? Yes, I do. But there are the occasional students, and I will tell you, I had one tonight where I was like, oh, God, please, really? I mean, come on. You fucking know this. Why are you killing me? Why... Why are you fucking not speaking English? What's wrong with you? You've been here six years already. What the fuck is wrong, you know? Um, um, there's, there's, and there's, like, I mean, like, I just don't think that speaking English is a talent. So no, teaching is a talent, though. Teaching is a talent. So I am a good teacher because I like teaching. And I've had many students go, go on and get jobs uh, you, because of their English and get great TOEIC scores and get great jobs. And they've come back and say. Victor, thanks to you, I was able to do this and that. And actually, you know I own I owned bars before, right? Mm -hmm. I own two bars, two gaijin bars here in Japan. And life was easy. I mean, the girls were easy. Everything was easy. And I got people drunk all the time. And I, there were nights at like $6,000 would come in. Are you there? Were yeah. I'm just, no, I just, I just, you know what? Like, this is very, um, I mean, I'm reading these, com these uh, comments, and they're actually okay. quite interesting too. And um, are you reading them? Uh, some of them, yeah, yeah. I'm going, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much. I mean, it's 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 amazing to me, like Tokyo how much people. here. Fuck no way. Tokyo no Tokyo way. Tokyo Fuck it on, man. Get on. You'll be the freak. Uh, I'll invite him. I don't know if I. I don't know. Look, look, look at look at what fucking fanboys we are. Um, you know, um, fucking Cooney shows up, man. Actually, yeah, I do like Cooney though. I do like no, Cooney. No, do you know what? Fun. Actually, I'll tell you the greatest thing about Cooney. Um, he, uh, I met him. At, like, I met him a few times, and uh, recently, my family came over uh, for the wedding, and uh, and uh, there's like five Kevin Cooney's on Jeep Google Plus. What the what the fuck? How could there be five? Okay, well I'll tell you the comments. Okay. Okay. Sorry. sorry. Um, on, and sorry. so Kevin Cooney came up to my mother when I wasn't there, and he's like, "You've got a really good son. He's a really nice kid." And like. Man, I mean, I don't know. She told me later. She's like, yeah, this this kind of, you know, weird, gangly-looking guy. Okay, I added that. Um, you know, said that. And, like, that was that, – that's pretty sweet, you know. I mean, I, I, I kind of dig the fact that he wouldn't tell me that, <laughs> too. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm one of those guys. Like, he, like, you know, I don't like the whole dudes hugging and being like, I love you, man, kind of shit, you know. You know, so it was – but it was awesome for it to, for, to come from that direction, you know. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments then. Can't I sleep. Feel, uh, I, he's I feel like um, I feel like the the time I told you I loved you. That's all. It was a waste. You told me you loved me. You told me you loved okay. me. Okay. Uh, I think I I I think I, I don't remember. Anyway, um, so some, um, people, some people some people say that I'm a moral re revivalist and that I'll understand when I get older. Um, yeah, I'm pretty old. And I think I've always just been this way, you how know. Old, like, how I, old are you? No, nah, I don't discuss age, man. Because again, my mom told me this great story: is that she had this roommate, and like they, she treated her on the same level, and then she found out that the roommate was only like 18 or something like that, and totally just changed her perception of who she was, right? So I think people, we always tend to, um, you know, define somebody by their age. So, for example, if I told you my real age, you In might be Japan, like, oh, it's very important. You would expect me to act a certain way. You would expect me to be at a certain place in my life. And, like, um, I'm just, you know, I'm me. So my age is not really relevant, and I don't think you should gauge me by that. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get Kevin Cooney on here, but I, I can't figure out. Uh, okay, so let's talk some yeah, other maybe next time. Maybe next time. Fuck, 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 fuck it. Next time. That's fine. Let's do some. Let's do some. Okay, let's do Cooney, some. if you're watching this next time, uh, PM. You know, you got uh, Hiko Simon's number, so PM. I'm sure he'd love to have you on as well. So, let's let, okay. let's talk some shit, man. Let's um, you know, I mean, you got you got anything you want to talk about? YouTubers or anybody? I mean, um, I'm, I'm I'm down for whatever, man. Well, I? I'll tell. No, I'll I'll tell you. I you know what? I thought you were gonna come on here. And you said you're gonna give me some shit about the way I was behaving. You know, on uh, I, I was like, well, well, what have I been doing? Well, I've been spitting out a lot of videos like crazy, so maybe that's what it. You know, I, okay. Well, I guess one of my main things is is the slap up, hand up thing, uh, slap down, hand up, and mm -hmm. like also like how you keep telling you know to subscribe, rate, 
And like again, that's just not my thing, though. You know. But I don't. I don't do that anymore. I just say. I just say lick the video. Okay. Okay. All well, I do okay. is say lick the. And and, I, and, I, and since I last, since you probably last noticed, it's been like I'm, I'm up to like eight hundred and I don't know forty videos now. So I'm just spitting I, up like twice a day now. No. Nah, well, you've always been a pretty much um, you know um, a hardcore. Like I remember back in the day when you had a flame war with um, well, what was his name? Fuck. Uh, Fagan, Fagan, fake oh, Fagan. Fake, fake Fagan. You know, He's I mean, scared, yeah. well, I mean, you, you, you're, you know, people don't know, man. I mean, I'm a little heavy with the tubes, okay? I am a little heavy with the tubes. I'm surprised you remember that. Yeah, I used well, to be big in the. Drama. No, a lot of people know, That's man. Fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. I think you can still find it in the arc, in the, uh, in the uh, Encyclopedia Dramatica. I used to be into it. Like when I first got into YouTube, I went into, um, you know, I went into searching and like. I, I, I mean, to be honest, there was like a point when I'm like, okay, I can manipulate this and I can do this, right? Like, I, I haven't used, except for the one video where I did Merry Christmas, Mr. Takeshi. That was the only video where I ever asked anybody to like, rate, or, you know, help me out with it. Yeah. And actually, you did. Thank you very much, to Victor, even yeah, though you did, yeah. say, you, you did say that I was a no-talent fuck. Uh, not the exact same words, but almost. I didn't say that. I'm what did you say? Do you remember? Do you remember? No, no, but... Um you know, you're like saying that you don't know what kind of talents I have, but, you know, please help this guy out, you know. Zehi, skatte kudasai, you know. Sai no moteru wa doka, you know. I mean, oh, right, again, right, right. yeah, no, but I mean, that was, a, that was a serious moment for me, you know. And, like, you know, you, you put out that. And, I mean, I'm being real right now. I thought that was, like, you know. But, I mean. But you know what? You're right. You're right. I could have been just more pure with the up on that. I didn't. I didn't need any uh, slap down on that. You're right. You on that, well, you on, didn't, you on didn't that particular it, moment, but you I was didn't know what it was. Like, you didn't know what it was to me. Okay. But. Um, and I love Bito. I love Bito the guy. She, you know, I don't care that he did that thing about the gay thing. You know, I mean, it's it's just, it's just stupid. But whatever. One second. One second. But that actually did fit in nicely to the video. Um, right. I think actually it worked quite well with the way I did. Um, the gay thing with Tikeshi, I think he was trolling, dude. Oh, yeah, it could be. Can it you imagine be. somebody being that like intellectual and like being that uh, intellectually? He's friends with Tarantino. Isn't Tarantino gay? No. No. Oh really? Well, whatever. Right. But Tarantino doesn't mind gays. I mean, you know, obviously. No, I mean, do you mind gays, Victor? No, nobody. I don't mind gays, no. Vicky, I mean, well, Vicky, Vicky, have you ever had a have you ever had a gay sexual experience? Anything? Come on, come on, level. Uh, I've had many men when I was younger come on to me and say, "Could you blow me?" or "Can I blow you?" Mostly, "Can I blow you?" "Can I blow you?" Yeah, and "Can I blow you?" I and, and and okay, blow you is a no go. No, I I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. okay, no. okay. What about a new half? Like, would you? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story that I will say I sympathize with, and that will tell you how I feel about it. There was this great guy. He is dead now. His name was Joe K. I met him in Japan, and he was a great friend of mine. And Joe K., you know, if you're, if, I don't believe in heaven, but if you, were, if you existed, I wish you were watching. Um, he, he came up to me in a bar when he was drunk, and I knew him for a long time. He's like, Vic, the other day, you know, I went, up to, I went, I went out with this, uh, I met this girl in this bar, and I went to the Love Hotel, and, you know, if she was hot, she was so fucking hot. She had beautiful breasts and beautiful ass and everything. We're the hotel. And when I go to fuck her, she's got a cock, you know. She's got a cock, right? Okay, hold up, hold up, though. Hold up. Did Joe K already kiss her? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, no, if you've already kissed her, it's done. Like, you know, I, you go through with it. Because <laughs> you're screwed at that point. So he basically, he told me that he, th he went through with it. Yeah, he did yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her and her. He, asked, and he, he had he had anal sex with her, whatever. And I'm you know, and I'm sorry if you're really virginal and you're watching this video and you're all really shocked, but but I'm sorry, no. but for me it's spectral. I mean sexuality is spectral. Right, 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 nobody right. is nobody is just Kenzie, straight or just gay. Kenzie. Um well no but but okay, well the thing about that though is is that like I think it's generational too though, right? Like because things are changing now. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, what is it? I have no idea. I, I honestly. Sometimes I it could be a rooster. Yes, yes, it's true. Well, listen, I did this video about sexuality in Japan, and this is true. 150 years ago, or 100 years, ago, I don't remember, but in Kyushu, all the sailors in Kyushu were so fucking tough. They were so hard that they would not bother to fuck women. They're like, women are too soft. 
we only fuck men. They I think were I the heard toughest. that. I think I heard and, you say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it makes sense. I mean, I mean, you're such a man. That I don't, you're, he's such a man. He doesn't even bother with women because they're too easy. Okay, they're too okay but, but, but see, that's where they've gone wrong, though. I think part of being a man is also the exploration of that, too, though, right? Like, I love women because I get to explore that side of myself that is soft and gentle. Does that make sense? No, yes, that, no, I have no problem with that. And I'm not saying that I agree with uh, having to have sex with men to be a real man, but I'm saying it does make logical sense. And, that, and, and what you were saying, it's generational. So at that time in Japan, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was accepted. And in Japan, everyone thought, okay, the super tough guys, you know, when they're young, they join the, they join the, they join the Navy, and they, they fucking become super tough, and they fuck other guys. Would and have been a scary time for me in Japan back in the day. <laughs> and then when they get out of it... They become normal heterosexual guys who have families, you know. Okay, Victor. And a lot of the shoguns as well. They were gay. They had you ever spent any time in jail? No, I've never been arrested. Drunk tank? No, not even drunk tank. Nothing. Okay. Okay. I know you have though. You you were. I don't, I don't know how you feel about talking about that now, but never actually edited out, you know. And like, I mean, I'll, I'll be real with it, like. Um, you know, like when I ask you that question, of course, when you ask somebody like, how are you? They're going to ask you, how are you? Right? So, I mean, there is like me asking you that and I'm like, there's a possibility you might ask me. Um, I've never talked about it. No, you have, you talked about it on one, one video. Uh, I think I alluded to it more than anything. You know, I don't think I actually, like, I've never stated reasons for like why I've been or... Uh, this is what I think I picked up from your video. And I don't know how I got this, but I picked up, I never talked to anyone. I only got this from your video. It was alluded. I spent I spent time in a seven foot by nine foot. I think is what I stated. You know, something along those lines. Yeah. In Korea, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. For drug drug charges. Yeah, yeah. I was trafficking. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got off though. Um, you know, I, I, I you know, what, though honestly, I think it's really weird because like, um, you know, here I am talking about it, right? And so there's obviously some part of me that thinks that it's um acceptable or like I mean, for example, um. If, 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 if you've it done is something. acceptable. Drugs are fine. The, the government is fucked to tell you that they keep you what you can put in your body. That's just retarded. Okay, but okay, the law okay. Is the law. Well, but okay, dude. I mean, like, okay. Would you be happy if you were one of those people that is like a you know a, a banker right now in the U.S. market, you know, and you've fucking put some of these mortgage under? Would you be happy with that? Would you feel good about that? So if I'm selling drugs that have hurt people and affected their lives, should I be happy about that? Should I be proud of that? Oh, no, I'm not talking about selling drugs. I'm talking about taking drugs. Okay, okay. okay. I think well, you have every right to do anything you want with your body. That's all. Okay. Um, okay. Selling drugs, I guess you're right. You're right. It, it is a moral uh, conundrum because you are you are possibly hurting other people. But it's not, not like possibly, dude. Not possibly. There is like, I mean, I mean, okay, for example, this is not something that is healthy for us. Okay. You Alcohol never, it takes part is is more influential in crime than marijuana ever was. Okay. Sixty percent, or I, I, I'm pretty sure that the, I don't I don't remember the numbers anymore, but sixty percent at least are definitely related to drugs to uh mar to alcohol. Marijuana is like fifteen percent. It's very rare. But when it does happen, the media goes crazy. Oh my God, he was smoking marijuana. Well, I've stated this before about like uh, the idea of um. Bumper cars, right? Like life is, you know, you can't go through life without affecting people and affecting things, you know? So, you know, I, I've, I've affected things and I haven't always been in a positive manner, um, you know? And, and, and I guess really, I guess the reason why I got into it was because I liked the idea of it, you know? I mean, I wasn't one of those drug dealers that was like, you know, I wanted to, you know, support my rap career or like, you know, what I mean, I had nothing. My goal was not to become anything other than a drug dealer. You know what I mean? So, um, in, this, in a way, that's kind of noble. <laughs> I, well, I enjoyed it. You know, I mean, like s sitting there and like when a cop goes by and you're like, oh my god, you know what I mean? That like tension, right? Like, there's a whole other world to it. Um, oh, Victor, do you carry around your Gaijin card with you? Yes, all the time. Really. 100%. Well, aren't you a good little host? No, it's just, it's just in my wallet, man. Just like my credit card. Just my Amex I always carry around everywhere. I intentionally I'm, don't. I've I, never taken it out. I've never been asked for it either. Never. Really? I've never been asked for it. I don't in know what it years. is. I, I know, know what it is. Tokyo Zeppelin, who a lot of people think is also a tool. <laughs> That's why we um, hang out. That's why we hang out. 
tools like to hang out together, okay? Where do you put them? You put them in a box. <laughs> but, um, but you know, it's funny because a lot of people give me shit for the video I made about him, but he was he's completely fine with it. He's like, well, eh, whatever. We're, we're, we, we still watch these other I wouldn't know about completely fine, but I think the feeling is mutual on both ends. Like, I mean, there's something about you that he does like, and there's something about you that irks him, you know? Um, um. And again, there's, it's like, there's something about me that irks me as well. I agree. I agree. I think we have that in common, Victor. Um, you know, I don't. Do you watch a lot of your videos? No, I always hard, do not. It? I don't. I don't. I just go to the next. Also, I'm spitting them out. So. <laughs> yeah. No, 